Welcome back, everyone, to Dick Powell's Your Time Matters, right here live from Clearwater, Florida. Today we're being brought to you by Earth, Wind, Fire, Water, Training and Development, where if you're not developing yourself, I guarantee no one else will. Our question of the day is this. How come or why don't you share your knowledge with others? You know, I, when I awoke this morning and kind of came up with this question, it really bothered me because I didn't know if I was being sent this information to ask that question of myself or that of others. Many times people come to me and need help or they want advice or they just want to talk and, and I provide that to them free of charge and, and I never even ask it anything in return. And I do that because that's who I am and I love helping people help themselves get to where they want to go. That's me. I have found though that when I am in trouble or I need help or I just need a question to ask, I'm trying to find some information out, those I go to hold it in tight. They want to hold it so tight that they, they don't want to let it go and, and it's almost like that they're afraid to let that knowledge out. Well here's what I'm going to tell you. I know that you were brought up to understand that knowledge is power. The deal is, is that it's not power at all if you hold it to yourself and you don't share it with others. Knowledge becomes power when it's shared with others and you become other people's servant by sharing and using that. Now it's become shared power. One of the other questions that woke me up was this. What stops you from achieving your dreams? and your potential. You know that question really kind of turned me on my ear. I've been working with a lot of different people and I know that you can use this information so I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to answer in through looking at three possible answers and we're going to do it on just your opportunity. Hmm. First one of course is fear. Do you have fear of success, fear of acceptance, fear of what will be expected of you? So many times what I hear from people is, is they're holding back because their fear of what's going to be expected of them again. In other words, I was successful one time and now you're going to, be, you're going to hold me to be successful again and again. And, and I'm here to tell you that the more mistakes you make, the more you learn. The more you learn, the more you what? grow and the more you grow the more you go so do what my grandpa said make as many mistakes as you can so you can get there as fast as you faster than you want to that's the whole thing don't be afraid of success success breeds success and it happens over and over so let's look at the next piece of this the next piece is I call are you lost and I asked that question are you lost because are you lost without a compass to show you your way? Have you ever taken time to discover your gifts, your talents that have been bestowed upon you, and then make a plan and set some guideposts for yourself? The best advice, of course, if, if you've ever taken that, and you've been outside, you've been in the woods, the best advice for when you're lost is to stop right where you are, sit down, use your mind to make a plan to stay alive until help comes. It's the same in everything you do. Stop. Listen to your inner self. Find out what's going on. Seek out your gifts that have been given to you. Seek out the talents that you need to work on. You know, so many times when we don't listen to ourselves, we become lost in the inner world around us. Remember this. What we do today will prepare us for tomorrow. The third part of this is really taking action. And you know, action piece of this really takes risk. Taking action involves risk. <laughs> you ask yourself, is it the right time? Do I have all the right materials and the right people in place? Is the budget correct? Is there enough capital? The factor of matter is, is this. If you just sit there, life will pass you by. And you'll be left behind and you'll always be asking those questions of what if? What if I'd done this? What if I'd done that? Shoulda, coulda, woulda? You will always be asking those questions. So I'm telling you to get up and get going. What's the worst that can happen to you? Here's the thing is 
taking the risk is all about the fun. And I look at every day as a great adventure, and I hope you do too. That I want you to remember that inertia states that everything in motion stays in motion. So once it gets going, it's easier to keep it going. And if you stop, it's harder to get it started. So put this little piece in your world that action is the attraction. I'm going to tell you what. People want to be around others who are in action. Well, to wrap up this piece for today, I want you to remember that, first of all, you need a vision. You need to know what your future picture looks like. You need to paint it in a way that you can show it, display it, and share it with others. You need to know what your mission is, what your purpose is. Why are you doing what you're doing, and where do you want to go, and how do you want to make it happen? Again, you need to have it written down so you can share it with others. And strategy? Strategy is your plan, your day-to-day -day plan. How am I going to get it done? And that, my friends, is the third leg of the stool that most of us do not do well with. In order to work on your, your plan, your strategy, sit down and write down these six things. First of all, I must do my research. I have to find out the who, what, when, where, how kind of things to make happen. I have to be prepared. I have to be have the things in order and be prepared to go out and roll and go with it. And then I have to execute. I've actually got to put some action in the plaques in here, and I've got to make it happen. I need a network with all those around us. That's why it has to be written down so you can share it with those around you. And when things start to happen, good or bad, you need to celebrate what's going on. And, of course, the last part of this is to evaluate. Well, I have to tell you, this has been a great time for me. This has been Dick Powell here at Earth, Wind, Fire, Water, Training and Development. You know, you can call me, 727-422-1833, 727-422-1833, and go to the website, ewfw.org, and continue on. Well, until next time, Dick Powell, signing off.